I think it's time to say goodbye to the quiff. So five years ago, I did something unprecedented and I changed my hair, which was a huge deal for me because I'd had the amazing Phil emo hair for so much of my time on the internet. It just became an iconic part of who I was. Even if you saw like the outline of a fringe, you'd be like, yep, that's Phil. It also made me very recognizable in public. Anyway, I made that decision and changed it into a quiff. And I think that was a great thing to do. It gave me a lot more confidence. I started doing things like trying wearing ripped jeans. I just had a bit more of a swagger in my step because I was like, yeah, I am Phil Evolved. I am now Phil Melian. And I've enjoyed being in Quiff Town. It's been in various lengths, various shades of brown and black. But the whole time, this forehead has been out in the sun and it still hasn't got any more tan. What? What? Why? What? Where, where are my freckles? But for the last six months or so, I've been kind of in a bit of a hair funk. I've been letting it grow a bit. Like, look at all this. But I don't want to be the guy with the same haircut again the whole time. I just want hair that can change and not be a big deal that this is my new style for the next five years. I've decided to change it up a bit with the goal of changing it up more and not worrying too much about having an iconic Phil style and more just having hair that I want to try out for a month or two. I did reach my breaking point last night where I told Dan that I wanted to change my hair and then this happened. This is an urgent PSA. Now, right. Phil Lester is open to changing his hairstyle. I'm sick of the quiff. This is not a drill. We've had enough of the incredibly hairsprayed straight fringe, all right? Yeah. He does naturally have very flat, thin hair. No offense. But I'm gay and wavy. That's <laughs> where we'll be a bit more of that. Yeah. But there's some length right now, so this is mm. an opportunity, okay? Yeah. To do something here. Do we oh. like the quiff, but we want it to just be a bit more messy? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe you want a, a center parting. I don't think that'd suit me <laughs> at all. Do we bring back the fringe, but instead of the severe emo, it's just something a bit messier, edgier. Ooh, maybe. Bring in some texture there somehow. We need your help. Help. Look at this man. Look at this mess. Just, right. I'm on the clock. In half an hour, my friend Neil is coming and he's going to cut my hair. So I'm going to have a look at what all of you guys have suggested. I had a preview and <laughs> of course it was a terrible idea to ask my audience, but I'm hoping there'll be a few good things amongst the trash. Here we go. Viewers decide Phil's hairstyle. My favorite TikTok comment was, Damn man, handling his head like Gordon Ramsay punching a salmon when it ain't cooked right. <laughs> It really is just Gordon Ramsay in my head. I'm surprised he doesn't have two bread slices. What are you? An idiot sandwich. This one's got a good point. Messy fringe is more mature version of what you had before. Reject modernity. Embrace tradition. Dill. <laughs> I mean, he did have pretty iconic hair, to be honest. His fringe was always in the correct place. He looked pretty swish. Except maybe when he was getting electrocuted or abducted by aliens. Next we have, ooh, keep the quiff, but slightly longer. You know, I think that's the longest my quiff has been. I think any longer than that, I would be entering Jedward territory. Not that there's anything wrong with the boys, but I just feel like it wouldn't suit me going any more vertical. Try something new. <laughs> <laughs> that is honestly incredible. I mean, I am currently in my rat era, so that would suit me pretty well. My hair does form a natural rat tail, so I think if I let it grow, I could have this hairstyle. Oh my god, this edit. I've seen it before. Why does it look good to me now? Last time I saw it, I was like, ugh. It's kind of growing on me. Like, the hair has grown on me. Should I even get my hair cut? Oh my god, that edit. <laughs> That is indistinguishable. I thought that was real for a second, Ellison. I would call this a sexy, greasy cut. Hmm. I do kind of like it. It's a maybe. Steve Harrington hair. I mean, his hair did grow on me throughout the series, but I don't think I want to be known as the hair. Uh, no, I'm going to pass. I'm going to leave it to him to stay iconic in the 80s. The spike hair. I think I'd look less like a hot twink and more like I'm cosplaying as some cup noodles. That cannot be real. <laughs> I mean, again, respect to the person that's had that. It looks like a Dyson attachment. Maybe that'd be useful. Someone could hold me by the legs and I could just clean those dusty areas. Ooh, Tomo. See, that's just a messy, slightly wavy, fringy thing, but I quite like it. He's looking good there. It'd be such an effort to even get it to slightly curl like that. We know what happened when Dan tried to curl my hair as well. Do you need to look more rough around the edges with that though? Do I need to grow my beard as well? This could have been my interactive introverts look. I should have seen this five years earlier. Not being funny, but that horse's hair is actually a look. What? No. That that's not real. I can't do an orange though. That would copy their idea. Maybe I could be a lime. These are some good suggestions. I feel like the first one is basically my hair, but style better. I feel like I'd look like a cresting wave. Absolutely not. That is the best thing I've ever seen. You know, Beaker always had the style. We don't talk about this enough. Ooh, hairdresser here. This is the haircut I've been getting asked to do a lot lately. Yeah, I think a long on top kind of textury vibe would be quite nice. Ooh, that one looks cool. Is it sexy guy or is it cool hair? Wait, priorities? Cool hair. I think I want some texture. I've always had such flat hair. I need to release some texture. 
I hope it doesn't like this. Cancel the texture. It looks like it had a bit of an accident with the razor halfway through the haircut, but I see what you're going for. Oh my god, that looks so cool. But my hair just wouldn't do this. I've been seeing lots of things on TikTok about boy perms or berms. Would I need to go get one of those for this hair to work? Because I love that. I just don't think it would happen for me. Honestly tempted by the anime character Sheik. Kieran, this is hot. What have you done here? It's just more movement in the hair. He's got like swish, swish. I've been through the wind, but I'm still looking hot. Yeah, all right, man. You can get on my list. A lot of people are saying don't discount the middle part. Wait, let's just like actually try and create one. That's where my natural parting is. So it's not really in the middle. Okay, let's bring some forwards. Ah, this is so hard to do. I feel like I look like a rejected anime protagonist. I could just go back to emo hair. Remember this guy? Hey guys, I'm back in the closet. Time to get the Sharpies out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's cursed. Get him, go away. Be gone. Why would you do this to me? Let's play a game of sexy man or cool hair. I'm gonna go with sexy man on that one. I think that's just like normal hair. Ooh, Pattinson with a short textured crop. I like it, actually. I think I'd look a bit like a pineapple, but I like it. Recreate the swish. I don't even know how my hair did this. What? <laughs> What's that? No. No! All right, that is enough. I feel like I've got enough uh, inspiration now. Thanks for ruining my life with this image. So here's my shortlist. We've got the messy crop. We've got this kind of updated quiff. I love this one as well. Mm, that one's cool. I think this is my favorite for what I would want. I do want a bit of fringiness back. Sorry, I don't want to grow my hair for another year. All right, I've got my selections. Let's go get a haircut. I'm scared. And there it is, the finished haircut. <laughs> I realized if you pause this at any point, I look horrific. Honestly, should have just stopped here. This is a look. Ba 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 ba! Oh my god. What do we think? The quiff is dead. Who the hell are you? I don't know who I am. I've looked. <laughs> I've, <laughs> I've looked in the mirror like seven times. Like, who wait. Who is this? Who who is this? Cool person. Why do I have this hair? That killed Phil Lester. <laughs> Phil Lester is dead. Now I am. I don't want to be really mean and honest. You've gone from like a six to a nine just because of this haircut. <laughs> Thanks. I, didn't I mean take that. offense. I didn't mean the that. The quiff takes offense. No, I, I like it. I need to learn how to style it properly because it's a bit more faffy than a quiff. It's a messy fill. It's messy. It's messy. It's a messy Anything print. goes in this house it's now. It's not immaculately styled. No. Sometimes it'll go forward, left, right. Yeah. Up, what I need to resist is going emo with it. You'll get this urge just to go. Swipe. Swipe me. Resist! I'll resist. I'll yeah, resist. I'm to just go. Yeah, so you like it. Wabi sabi, I love it. If the internet doesn't like it, it's your fault. You chose this. Give it a swirl to the left. A swirl? Okay. The side? There okay, we go. Well, I dare you to just mess it up slightly. What? Just, Already? Just stick your hands ah! in. Just, just touch. Yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, volume three. There we go. I've just changed again. Fringe. I've gone to a ten. There we go. Oh, oh now, no, now I'm a six. Ah, oh, come back. No, I liked it. Oh, no. Oh God, volume four. I'm just learning new things about myself. Every time the wind blows, you will have a natural non-Lego looking haircut. Yeah, the I'm wind so happy for you. The wind could blow one direction, I'll be Phil. Next direction, Philip. There's only one direction, Phil. I was just having a moment of silence. Okay. Do I have a new personality though? Do I walk with more confidence? You are genuinely intimidating yeah. looking now. You look way cooler with this hair than you actually are. Okay. You so look like a hipster <laughs> that has tattoos. I should get a tattoo next. I'm just off the rails. If someone walks into a room, do I now look them up and down like... <laughs> no. What, like, I saw you across the I club. I saw you across the club. I liked your vibe. Uh, that's the Phil Riz. That's the Riz. You've now gone down a couple of Oh, I just gave myself a cross eyes right, trying to yeah. do the Riz. Uh, also, natural hair's come through. I've been grey on the side of my hair since I was 21. Which so I think low key is kind of cool. Yeah, so I'm going to leave it for a while just see what happens. I'm going to grow it out. I think it's cool to have a bit of badge. Bit of badger. Bit, bit, of, badger bit of side out. badger. Yeah. It's not because I'm getting old, because I had it before I was old. <laughs> You it's just, you were a it's just part of who I am. You've been nuking your hair with black hair that I've yeah. so long you've forgotten who you are. That probably doesn't help. Your hair deserves a break, Phil. It does. I think this looks, apart from the center parting, what most people wanted me to get. We just wanted texture, Phil. We wanted... We didn't want Lego hair. Less flat and straight. Yeah, more okay, Lego. Getting wavy. <laughs> <laughs> How much product is in your hair right now to uh, manufacture this volume? There is minimal hair. product right now. So it could get even poofier. We could get poofier. Or messier. We could get crazy. Oh my god. 
not that crazy. The big problem is you can't get a haircut for your face. So I'm never gonna look like- How dare you? You know what I mean? Like it's always like a really hot model and then the hair, you can't modify your face. You need to shut the f up with your Benedict Cumberbatch ass cheeks. Ass cheeks. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll have some emotional chats about hair with the YouTube video now. Oh great, so what you're telling me to leave? Get the F that out. Was a weird way to say <laughs> Oh, get off! Get away okay. on the video. Whatever. You're not cool enough to be in the same room as me now. If you saw what Dan is currently wearing, <laughs> the most undan outfit of all time. These aren't my clothes. I don't wear them. No. Okay. They, they were builders in the house. I couldn't access my wardrobe. He couldn't get to the wardrobe, so he had to raid my. <laughs> Have a good life. I'm gonna leave it like this for a bit. The next stage might be to dye it a different color if I'm feeling bold. But I think the morale of that storal is you just need to care a lot less about what people think. If you've got the same hair you've had for ten years, take this as an inspiration. Go change it up. Get that messy fringe. Dye it green. Shave it. Don't shave it off. Unless you want to shave it off. But it wouldn't suit me. So yeah, here's to Phil 3.0. I don't know how long this will last. Maybe I'll change it after a week. The good thing about this one actually is I can still quiff it. So if I'm going to something fancy, maybe I can still indulge myself in a quiff. I think that's, that's all I can say about hair. I thank you for coming with me on this adventure. Thanks to the thousands of people that suggested haircuts both stupid and cool to me on TikTok and Twitter. You really helped shape the man I am today. I hope you're having a good hair day and continue to for the rest of the year. Give me a thumbs up if you like my new hair or even if you don't just give me some confidence I need it. You can subscribe check out my last video give yourself a pat on the head go walk a dog I'll do a hair goodbye. Good. Bye. Look at that. Look at that. What have I done?